I bet you and I have a lot in common. We're not the strongest, smartest, or richest people we know. We're not the fastest or most connected. We're not the best looking or most talented. We don't have the best genetics. But what we do have is something a lot of those other people will never have. The will to work. A lot of us have big dreams, big goals. And when you have goals that are maybe outside your reach, you have to know that getting to that goal, you're going to have a lot of bad days. But the biggest key to success in anything you do is you got to have an unlimited supply of fucking fuck you. There was no passion, no drive, no nothing. But I had this fire that I'm going to be somebody. And what that means is you may have failed miserably yesterday. People are like, man, you just lost everything. How the hell are you just fucking damn motivated? Because this is what it takes. Because working your ass off is the only thing that works 100% of the time for 100% of the things worth achieving. Work works. Fucking bet against me. Tell me it's not going to happen. Tell me it's going to fail. I love it. I love every minute of it. I real, there's some of you there are opportunities that you're like, it's too difficult. It's too hard. Nobody can do it. You're not wired properly. We turn tragedy into triumphs. We turn tragedy. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions haunt us. And if you are a true lion, it does not make a difference what the circumstance is. Because you have the belief that if I don't quit, that if I keep believing, that if I show up enough times not feeling it, that if I keep getting better and learn from the losses and learn from the pruning and learn from the cold nights and learn from the mistakes, if I don't quit, I'll win. Why? I got the gift. Never give up. Never in your life give up. He drives it through the goddamn pain. Muscle through the pain. Muscle through the goddamn pain. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. It's very important for you to know that. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. How willing are you and how worth it is it to you? What are you willing to do? How hard are you willing to embrace the grind? How hard are you willing to embrace the suck? If there's one unavoidable truth in this world, it's that there is no substitute for putting in the work. There is no shortcut or growth hack or magic pill that can get you around the hard work of doing your job well, of winning something you care about. People have tried to cut corners and skip steps in this process for as long as hard work has been hard. Those people either fall behind or get left in the dust. You know why people don't like themselves? They never keep their word with themselves. Don't lie to yourself. I need you to make a promise to yourself, not me. And whatever decisions you make, you'll never break your word to yourself. You don't feel like it? You do it anyway. You're tired? You do it anyway. You're exhausted? You do it anyway. You keep the promises to yourself. It's raining? You do it anyway. It's cold? You do it anyway. It's going to be hard? You do it anyway. It won't get harder. Like this is the hardest part. And so if you can just make it through this, everything else is downhill. It's not that the things that you're, the dragons are gonna slay aren't gonna get bigger, they are. But you become so much more equipped to slay them back. And you have so many more allies. You have people in the stands cheering for you. You have the audience. You have all of these other things that are behind you. But in the beginning, it's just you with a stick against a bear. And arguably that fight is a harder fight to win than beating a dragon when you have a nuclear bomb and six nations behind you. And so it's not even like the, the size of the hardship, it's just also the resources and how few of them you have and how so much of the beginning is literally burning the one thing you have, which is time. How much better would the people around you be if you were better? What if you were everything you could be? That's what you're called upon to be. You're called upon to be everything you can be. Why? Not least because the <laughs> Try getting through the world without doing it. Begin to envision yourselves as being blessed and highly favored to reach your goals. 
capture the essence of what that means, that you have greatness within you and a responsibility to manifest that greatness. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. But that's why you're here, because you are the one.